Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking the question, will new Thai immigration rules mirror those from 2020? And, and it's a big question as we're kind of coming through the end phase of this, however you want to look at it. We're definitely in the light at the end of the tunnel, although we're still somewhat in the tunnel, I think it's safe to say, especially with regard to travel restrictions in and out of Thailand. But a big question for the long term is, what's this going to look like? And I've been thinking about this a lot, and I got to thinking about it more when I was reading a recent article from the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. article is titled, Thailand Urged to Adopt Hassle-Free, quote, Cambodian model, unquote, entry rules. Quoting directly, Tourist Minister Pipar Khan said the proposals would mean that Thailand's immigration entry policies would now mirror those in operation before the COVID outbreak in 2020. Although his proposals do contain a reference to an ATK test for new arrivals to take within 24 hours of arrival, there would not be any need to stay in a hotel room pending the result. However, Peapot did say that even this swab health test might be voluntary and unsupervised by health authorities. Well, yeah, let, you know, come on. Let's, let's be done with this. If it's going to end, end it. I mean, the biggest... It, I, as, as I've said, at the beginning of this, we didn't know what it was. I somewhat understood the desire to take some precautions. But at this point, we know exactly what it is. We know it's not an existential threat. And moreover, it's clear that we're getting rid of these rules. Why keep any of them? And as we've discussed in other videos, if there's political considerations to keeping these rules, I would like that to be more clearly hashed out because, you know, if it's just, if this is, I don't agree with any of these restrictions. I think my, or many of these restrictions, I should say. I think my prior commentary on this in prior videos is pretty clear on that. But, you know, every time I keep reading this stuff where it's, okay, we're going to do it, but there's going to be this little, why? You know, why, or, or come out and simply say, hey, we like some of this power. You know, if that's what it is. You know, I, I could deal with the honesty on a certain level, but, you know, to have this kind of, as we discussed, especially April 2021 with the article calling, you know, basically all but calling ties children and not being able to handle themselves with respect to these restrictions, you know, it, the condescension and smugness on some of these, you know, when they talk about the lifting of this, well, we'll lift some, but not all, you know, do it. If you're going to do it, do it. Let's end this. We need to get back to business. You know, I, things do need to mirror 2020. We need to get back to quarter one of 2020 and move on as we did at that time. 